pressure cooker time. Yes, it's pressure cooker time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Tupperware Pete. G'day. How are you? I'm going to cook in the pressure cooker. I've just got some chickpeas in one, and I'm going to show you how I do my beetroot hummus from scratch. Thank you very much. And in this one, I'm just about to do some apricot chicken. So if you haven't seen the Tupperware pressure cooker, this is basically a one-pot wonder. Everything you slow cook it takes four to eight hours to do. This will do in 20 to 30 minutes. Everything you do in your crock pot that takes hours plugged in on the stovetop, this will do it in the microwave oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Everyone's got a microwave oven. It only takes two or three cents a day to run. Nobody realises that you can actually put a pressure cooker in the microwave. Uh, it, it works on the efficiency of a microwave, but the health benefits of pressure cooking your food, all right? So when you lose... The instruction booklet, because it does come with a little instruction booklet in quite a few languages, I might add, right? When you lose that, all the instructions are on the inside here, so you don't have to keep looking for the booklet. All you've got to remember is it's a maximum 900 watts, maximum 30 minutes, and in here there's a minimum line and a maximum line. Just keep the food in between the two lines. Really easy, all right? So what we're going to do is, <laughs> let me show you, what are we going to do? I've got some chicken tenderloins, they are on special, and I thought, oh, I might do some apricot chicken, I think. So we're just going to, I'm not going to bother cutting that up. It's a one pot wonder, great, chicken juice everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to bother cutting that up. I am going to wash my hands so that I don't end up with raw chicken. cross-contaminating. All right, so in here, basically when you're popping in, if you're doing a beef stew or a lamb curry or an apricot chicken or pop the meat in first, right? That's what Tupperware recommend. And also, if you want to, you can lightly flour your, your protein, your pork, your, your lamb, your chicken, your beef. That will just also add to the... Um, It'll just give it a nice crumb to it, right? I'm not going to bother with that right now, though, right? <laughs> okay, so in there, I've got my apricot. Now what I'm going to do is I've got some garlic. Can you see this here? I've got my Tupperware cleaver. This is the Mastro knife, the cleaver. So all I'm going to do is bash, <laughs> bash that down on my garlic. Can you see that? Okay, let me just move this out of the way. Let me know where you're watching from. And let me know, if you've got a Tupperware pressure cooker, what do you cook in yours? Give me a like and a follow and a subscribe, and that way you'll see all of the other ones um, in there. It doesn't matter whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. I put all of my videos everywhere so that everybody can access them, all right? So, what we've got in here, let's just crush this up. There we go. So, we've just got... If, you've been, if you're a, a regular um, watcher of mine, you'll know... Garlic is not optional, and one or two cloves. Hello, who are you kidding? So I've just got like three or four or five or six cloves that I'm just going to pop straight into my garlic um, press. There's nothing beats fresh garlic, let me tell you. So you just uh, squeeze that in there. Use the back of the knife. Don't use the, the blade. Use the back of the knife if you want to just remove all of that into there. And there's my six cloves of garlic. How awesome is that? We'll grab this and we will just literally slice up half a red onion and we'll just, just into big chunks, right? Oh, that is very sharp, let me tell you. <laughs> I need one of those um, black gloves, don't I, at home. There we go. We'll just pop that straight into there and we will just slide that straight into here. Luckily, I'm eating this by myself. All right, let's just give that a bit of a... <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. All right, now what we're going to do is in my micro cook pitcher, this is the saucepan that goes into the microwave. So whether you're melting chocolate, melting butter, doing baked beans, scrambled eggs, poached eggs, gravy, custard, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, peas, corn, carrots and capsicum. Oh my goodness. If you are... <laughs> If your tripod breaks, let me tell you, I can, I guess I speak from experience, you can pop your phone in here and it acts as a great little tripod as well, <laughs> all right? So what we're going to do in here, I've just got my apricot nectar. I've got ha uh, a, a, a litre of apricot nectar. I'm just going to do half of this. So I love the, the micro cook picture because you've got measurements that it's very easy to measure out and they're, they're etched in so they're never going to scrub away. And so there we've got 
they're on this side, so I don't have to keep looking around. I can easily see what we've got in there happening, all right? So we've got that. We've got a packet of French onion soup mix. Grab my Tupperware kitchen scissors, which when you've got a couple of them, you'll never lose them. All right, so there's my French onion soup. We're just going to pop that straight into here, into the apricot nectar. What I'm going to do is just grab a Tupperware whisk. Whisk away! <laughs> we've got a Tupperware whisk. Let's just whisk that up. There we go. And we will just literally pour that straight into our pressure cooker. Of course, it's going to go everywhere. <laughs> and then I always throw in some red capsicum, all right? So I love the capsicum because it tells you where to slice it. See the little grooves? If you just grab your cleaver and if you just pop that straight down there, that will just show you where to cut it. Look at that. The seeds stay in there instead of all over your bench top. I love it. It's brilliant. So we are just going to slice this up just into slithers and there we go. chop that up into chunks and we will just literally pop that straight into here. How awesome is that? There's all those little bits into there, all that beautiful goodness. Can you see? Look at this. I don't know if you can see. There's our red capsicum. We've got, I think it's about 500 grams, 600 grams of chicken tenderloins, about 500 mils of apricot nectar. And if you want to, you can thicken that with a little bit of corn flour afterwards. I never bother because I'm going to show you how I do my cauliflower rice. All right. So all you have to do is you line up the arrows, you pop that down into there, click the safety arm into place. And instead of four to eight hours in your slow cooker or two hours in your crock pot, 20 to 30 minutes in the microwave and you've got the health benefits of pressure cooking your food. All right, so I'm going to pop it in for the full 30 minutes. All right, let me just wipe down the bench top. While that's in there, let me show you. You've all seen this, haven't you? You know what it's called? No need to ask, it's a smooth chopperator. Smooth operator. <laughs> Smooth operator. There's the blades. What we're going to do is they sit on the little peg in there. There's an anti-slip grip. Remove that if you're going to pop it into the dishwasher. And when you first get it, get it, give it a wash and remove that from the inside. All right. And can you see the measurements on the side? So there's measurements up to 1200 mil in millilitres. And on the other side, you've got cups. Oh, we'll just pop that on properly. You've got cups and you've got fluid ounces in there. There is a fill line. Please respect the fill line, especially if you're chopping carrot or sweet potato or any of those hard root vegetables. Um, please respect the fill line, all right? So what we've got in here, let me show you this. I've just, I did some, I did some pickled veggies earlier in my Tupperware beetroot container. This is the Piccadilly. I've just got red onion, cauliflower, garlic, and mustard seed, cumin seed, fennel seed, star anise, black peppercorns, and I've just one part vinegar, one part water, and I fill that in. I'm gonna let that cool. I just boiled the jug, let that cool. There's my pickled veggies, and I had some leftover cauliflower, and I thought, I'll show everyone how I do my cauliflower rice. So I just pop that straight into there. This is where you can have fun in the kitchen. Throw on your favourite Spotify playlist and away you go, all right? <laughs> How awesome is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten pulls of the cord. Can you see? Look at that. There's my cauliflower rice. How awesome is that? So all you have to do is... When you're plating up... There's my cauliflower rice ready to go. How awesome is that? Now, if you prefer to have proper rice, you can absolutely do the proper rice. And right now, there's a couple of options that we've got going on, right? So this is the Tupperware rice dispenser that'll hold 10 kilos, basmati, jasmine, long grain, short grain, brown rice. If you've got kitty litter, pop your kitty litter into here and that will dispense your kitty litter or your bird seed, 
kibble, dog food, M&Ms, rolled oats, Nutri-Grain, Fruit Loops, oh my goodness, washing powder. The, the options are limitless, all right? So basically, let me just show you. I've got this one here. So what you do is, oh, turn it around, Miss Jane. You got one of these, you open this up, and that dispenses your rice. How awesome is that? It will dispense three quarters of a cup, all right? So if you want one and a half cups of uncooked rice, just do that twice, and there's your rice. How easy is that? It's absolutely awesome. It'll hold up to 10 kilos. It is a proper airtight uh, Tupperware seal, so no critters are going to get in. The freshness is going to stay inside, and um, you'll you'll, be, you'll like buy rice once a year, basically. How awesome is that, right? Now you can do that, or you can just do the cauliflower rice. Okay. So while that's while we're waiting for that to cook, let me show you. My other Tupperware pressure cooker. I do have a few of them, right? Let's just throw this down over here as a trivet. Now, what we're going to do is, you know what I've got in here? In here, I've got... Chickpeas from scratch, right? So I've got... There are my chickpeas in my Modular Mate Super Oval, all right? So if you wanted to, you can absolutely store your chickpeas in an ultra clear square container, right? So just, so you've always got, I mean, it saves so much money. Now, most people say, but don't you have to soak your chickpeas overnight? Yeah, you do. Or if you've got a Tupperware pressure cooker, you know how I do it? I've got a cup of chickpeas straight into there, filled it with one and a half litres, two litres of water, just below the maximum line, a decent amount of salt. I pop that in for 30 minutes. I let then let the pressure indicator go down. I lifted that up. I strained the water out. I put it back in with fresh water, no salt. Put it in for another 30 minutes, right? And where is, let me show you. I want to show you this. Can you see this? Look, soft and squishy. From raw in an hour, there's my chickpeas ready to go. How awesome is that? So we'll pop that straight in. No soaking overnight or for eight hours. The pressure cooker will literally do everything your slow cooker takes four to eight hours. This will do in 20 to 30 minutes, right? Maximum 900 watts. That's what you have to remember, right? So what we're going to do is, yes, I've got two microwave ovens. Because Tupperware saves you so much time and money. Why not, right? So, pretend this is the kitchen sink. I've got my double colander. We just pop that straight into the kitchen sink. And we strain that water off. Can you see this? Strain that water off. The Tupperware Eco Plus clear bowls are heat resistant. Now, if I want to, I can save that water and wait for it to cool, pour it over the plants. The plants are going to love it, right? Or I can add, I can use it for my, um, for my teas or for drinks, and that there's a lot of good nutrients in that chickpea water, right? So this is my chickpeas straight into here. So what we're going to do now, no need to ask, it's a smooth chopperator. <laughs> what we're going to do now is let me show you how I make my beetroot hummus from scratch. We've got our blades straight into here. I did realise I didn't have any parsley, but then I discovered I've got all these celery tops. So I'm going to use all this celery top and I'm going to pop that, I'm just going to strip this celery, the greens, because you, you know, celery will last in a clear, in a, this is a vent smart. It's like, the, it's Pictionary for, for the fridge, right? <laughs> so celery in here will last for about eight weeks. I bought this about a week before I went to Bali. I've been back from Bali for about two weeks now. And so they're still crunchy as, nothing wrong with it. So what I'm gonna do is just grab these leaves with a little bit, doesn't matter if a bit of extra celery goes in there, not a problem. I like the flavor of the celery tops. You know, celery seeds are a great um, spice. 
that you can add to your curries and things. Celery, you're paying for the leaves, why not eat them? Nobody knows it's gonna be celery leaves. It'll add a beautiful, fresh flavor to it. And once it's popped through here, no one knows what they're eating. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. There we go, we'll pop that straight through there. Can you see? Look, it makes light work of that. So we've just got a little bit of freshness to pop through there. What we will do is we will just transfer some of these chickpeas straight into here. Remember, this was a cup of uncooked chickpeas, right? So I'm just now going to whip these through here. We don't need the funnel. I'm gonna pop that straight into there. If you smile, the calories just fall away. <laughs> Give it a shake every now and again. And you can do this when you go in camping, if you have no electricity. It's a zero carbon footprint handheld blender when you're using it. There's my chickpeas all beautifully mushed up. We will throw in just a little bit more. Skins and all. Some people shell them. I'm like, who's got time for that? <laughs> Actually, sometimes I have been known to shell them and pop them in the micro pro grill to toast them they're like a beautiful vegan crouton they're delicious all right a little bit of seasoning so we've got some more chickpeas into there let us pop that straight into there we'll give that a nice big now what we'll do is we've got some tahini sesame seeds that have all been mulled up and we will Just throw in a decent amount of that tahini. Absolutely love tahini. Yum, yum. It is so good for you. All right. Sesame seeds. That's all it is. Right. Pop that into there. And now, if you like your hummus runny, add a lot of more tahini. You might want to throw in some olive oil if you want to, for the health benefits of extra virgin olive oil, or you might want to do what I'm going to do now. A little bit of black pepper. There we go. A decent amount of black pepper. Oh, Tupperware down! All right, then what we've got is some lemon. I'm gonna slice this lemon in half. And I've got my zest and press. I'm just gonna juice half a lemon. That gets all of that lemon right out, flips it upside down. There's no wastage whatsoever. And lemons and apples and limes will all stay together in the same Ventsmart container because they're the same breather. They have the same airflow requirement, all right? So, here we go. Pop that straight into here. Now, remember I said we're going to throw in some beetroot as well. This is the Tupperware Piccadilly which I love for baby beets, baby beetroot. How awesome are they? All right, so we're gonna throw in, we'll just throw in a couple of those just for a beetroot hummus. How delicious is that? We'll pop the seal back onto that. We'll pop that back up into there and we will just, how awesome. How delicious is this gonna be with some rice crackers or, oh, hang on. Let's just, I've probably overfilled it. <laughs> I haven't respected the fill line, oh my goodness. All right, so what we'll do is, there we go. Shake it up, shake it up. There we go, and we will, oh, can you see? <laughs> It hasn't quite chopped properly, but you get the <laughs> you get the idea, right? So, how awesome is this? It's quite. We need the spatula right down to the bottom. Give that a mix. I might actually take half of that out because I did put too much in. So what we'll do is we'll just take half of that mixture out and we'll pop it into here. 
See how if you overfill it, it doesn't work quite as well? And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to whip through this so that I don't end up taking too much time. And in fact, I've actually done the opposite. So <laughs> let's show you how this works. There we go. That's a little better. Imagine doing an in-home Tupperware party and you're having a race. Who can make the beetroot hummus the quickest? Pass this around. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. And then when you're not doing beetroot hummus as morning tea, you can do champagne slushies at night time, right? So how awesome is that? This is my chunky beetroot hummus. I love it. Whether you're serving it with your Tupperware rice crackers that are storing in your one touch fresh rectangles, or whether you're doing celery sticks, carrot sticks, broccoli, cauliflower, those sorts of things, absolutely delicious. Give me a like, give me a follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll pop up pictures of everything, I'll plate up properly. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know, I'm more than happy to help. And you know what you need to do until next time, don't you? Forget your troubles and get happy, dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy now, I'll see you all another day. <laughs> See you everybody, thanks for watching.